Center punches are used in the metalworking industry when you need to drill a hole accurately. Earlier this year, I decided that I wanted to make a center punch that looked like a 50 cal bullet. So after the project finished and the video launched, I got thinking, I bet you there's some people who'd like to have one of these in their shops. The problem is, for me to stand at the lathe and whittle away on these things is just not that great. And so my search began to find somebody who could help me create these center punches with better machines. Q Brent. He has some pretty sweet machines that are cut out for this job. Basically the prototype was figured out, but we had to do some fine tweaking to the design. And this is the first test run. Check that out. Oh, I can't believe I'm looking at these. They are so good. This is the one that I made. This was made out of bronze and S7. And this one is brass and O1 tool steel that is heated up about this much and oil quenched. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a test. I think that the O1's gonna be totally sufficient for a center punch. So this is a piece of mild steel here. About 20 hits. I've got a problem, the, bra the brass slid up. Yeah, it slid, not good at all. Shoot. Of course, the one that I made, I was gonna try the one that I made just to see how it compares, and then of course, I put that shoulder on it so it can't, it can't slide up. All right, I'm gonna go talk to my boys. We'll get this resolved. Check it out. This is the new and improved center punch. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but this is actually now a shoulder here. So this is half inch and then goes out to about five eighths of an inch. And that should catch it. That's how I made the original one versus this one where this is just half inch all the way through. So let's try it out. So that was 10 hits and uh, looking pretty awesome so I'm gonna set up here and let's how many how many Peter how many hits do I have to do before I can say this is good just one, just one <laughs> thinking like uh, probably a cycle a hundred of them says so 110 this end is awesome nothing to say bad about that so this end is soft What's gonna happen here is my question, you know? So that's 110 hits. It's actually, like, you can tell it's rounded off, but I thought it would be more, actually. So I think I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna run this further and see how this end's gonna work out. Okay, I'm changing my stance of holding the center punch. I've just gone to a fist, because I'm tired of, oh yeah, yeah. From here to here was about a hundred and a lot of these are double hit because I was just fisting this thing going out. So I'm going to say we're at about a thousand or so hits. This end is like, for a center punch you're still good to use it. There's a very marginal rolled tip, but it, it's not bad. Again, this end's actually looking pretty good. It has mushroomed and rounded off. Um, there's no splitting or anything at this point. For, for me in this shop, a thou like a thousand center punch marks for holes, that's a lot of holes for me. I guess it depends, you know, where you're at and what you're doing. I'm gonna try to fiddle around with this. I wanna see if you could just come in with a file and just adjust that. I wouldn't be fixing it at this point. You know, it's not that bad, but I wanna see what hap what's gonna happen here. So this is a file that's got like a safe edge on it, which is important. So I'm gonna put that on this. Oh yeah. <laughs> There it is filed up, and I'm really happy on how that went. It files very nice. I think that that's awesome. I put a little bevel on it too with the file. I think we've got a pretty good tool here, guys. I'm so stoked. Like that end is impressive. All right, let's start working on the, the box for this little guy. So we just pulled up the pizza place here, 
and he's been working on a couple different concepts for the box that we're gonna be sending this 50 cal center punch out. Let's go take a look at what he's got. Oh yeah, sweet. Yeah. I wanted a box to ship this in. What we came up with, uh, this is the final version so that now you can just place this in there drops in center and then you have enough room for your finger to pick it up and then do we have a stain lid this is the lid for it i think so and then it's a little bit sticky because uh it's just wet still with the finish and then this will be the branding we're still tweaking that a little bit but essentially this is what it's going to look like which i'm really really excited about so I'm expecting that probably in reality if you place this in your toolbox you'd probably leave it like this without the lid on it so then you can just quickly grab it if you want I don't know I think it's super cool this is awesome okay Pete looks good can you go build a hundred of them now for me In here is 150 cal center punches. You want to see what that looks like? These are the boxes Peter made. Super cool. So this is the box finished up here. This is what you'll get. And then the 50 cal center punch is right in here. I'm really excited about how this all turned out. I hope you like it. Head over to my website. I'll put the link down below. First come, first serve. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Till then, keep the forge lit.